How we doing RVers? Tice Vink here at Veerinks RV Center here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today we're going to be checking out this new 2024 floor plan. It is the Durango 280 RKD. So a couple changes on the inside, new floor plan like I said. So we're going to be about 33 feet, about 9,900 pounds on this fifth wheel. So starting up in the front, you got your full painted fiberglass front cap. Um, like I said, you're going to be 33 feet front to back. So from pin backs to the bumper back there. Um, up in the front here, just a little bit of uh, added storage for you guys. So room to maybe throw a generator um, if you want that down there. And moving down to the side a little bit here. Here's where your batteries are going to be set up. You got your solar charge controller. So this trailer is going to come with two 220 watt solar panels. So if you want to get off the grid a little bit, got the option of doing that. So batteries will sit in there. Got your charge controller, uh, battery disconnect switch as well. Then you're going to be slam latch doors on all your doors here. So here's going to be your big pass through storage. You're going to be heated in, in there as well. Um, so a bunch of room for all your chairs, any other things you want to take along camping with you guys. Then you're gonna have a large awning going across a good amount of the coach here, frameless windows. Solid steps on the interior, or when you're going inside. So we'll take a look at that when we're walking in. Again, moving down the side, you're gonna have your mini fridge outside. Picnic table's gonna sit right about here. So super convenient to have an outside fridge right there. Grab all the drinks um, that are usually inside, just keep them outside. Back here is gonna be your outdoor kitchen. So nice stainless steel sink in there. You'll have a griddle, do some outside cooking. And then here on the back side, you're going to have a little tow receiver here. So about a 3000 pound tow capacity and then about a 300 pound hitch rating. Um, so take any bikes, maybe pull a small boat behind it. And then you'll also have your ladder on the back. So good for roof maintenance, you'll have a lifetime uh, warranty on the roof up there so being able to clean it have the ladder already there super convenient for you guys so like I said we got a new floor plan so we'll go take a look at the inside all right guys and here we are on the inside of this Durango 280 RKD so rear kitchen model tons of countertop space right here um, little bar top right here a couple of stools here so you'll be uh, seamless countertops on all your countertops all throughout Bunch of or a bunch of drawer space, cupboard space throughout in the back here. You'll get a residential stove, um, cooktop. You'll get a nice microwave back here. Bunch of windows, see the view from the back here. Stainless steel farm style sink. Um, and then you got your 18 cubic foot refrigerator. So be able to store all the food, all the drinks you need in here on your uh, long vacations. Then moving towards this way a little bit, we're gonna have this new super sofa and this new 280 RKD. So recliner seats on all of these will be Thomas Payne. So the quality is there. Um, flipping it across, your entertainment center is gonna be over here. So you'll have a nice fireplace under there, kick out a little bit of heat, uh, knock the chill off in here. Get a nice sound bar as well as a TV that's on an elevator. So you can drop that down, keep it up, whatever you wish. And then on this side over here, you're gonna have a nice little pantry or a um, little coat area. So hang your coats, any clothes, maybe throw some shoes in there as well. And then again, good spot right there. Maybe throw a coffee maker right on here and then just some more storage above there. And then we'll walk back here, take a look at the bathroom, bedroom up in this front cap area. So in the bathroom here, you're gonna have a porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice standing shower, bunch of room in here. And then you'll have your vanity area. You'll have a stainless steel sink in there as well. Nice medicine cabinet, bunch of room for everything you need in there. And then into the bedroom area, you'll be a 70 by 80 king size bed. So in a trailer this size, um, having a king size bed is pretty huge. Um, you'll be dual AC, so one in the bedroom here, um, you'll be one in the living area, and then you'll be ducted AC, ducted heat throughout the whole entire trailer. CPAP areas on either side of the bed here, and up in the front cap here, you're going to have your uh, closet area. Back in this corner here, you'll be washer dryer prepped, so if you guys are full-time RVers, having that's going to be uh, pretty huge for you guys. 
across from the bed here. Just some storage area for all your clothes. A little built-in hamper right here. Throw all your dirty clothes in there. All right, guys, and there's so much more information I could give to you guys on this 2024 Durango uh, 280 RKD. So if you guys have any more questions about the construction or the features or anything overall about this trailer, feel free to give us a call here at Veering Survey Center. My number is 616-965-9629. Again, 616-965-9629. Thank you guys for watching.